Okay, we got a lot going on in this video. You guys are not gonna believe what we caught in the Cody trap. It's barking and growling at us. Wait till you see that. And um, we're putting up this 30 foot pole and we already did, it's in the background. I'm gonna show you guys that, but it's hot and humid out here and um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hello. And these two green tea posts. Yep. Let's see what that is. That's the stuff Daniel gave us to get in the hogs. Those two green tea posts. I'll grab this 30 foot pole. You got him? Watch it. Hope grab one. Can I get this? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. See that little see that big hammer over there? Grab it, yeah. stick it back here. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got all the stuff. Well, got the camera, and we just got our 30 foot pole in a few days ago, and just not getting any time to come down here and set up set up the hog camera um, that we borrowed from Daniel um, right here at the creek property, and uh, we're gonna bait it. And we're just gonna put the camera out first. So as soon as any sign that we have hogs out here that's in pictures, then we'll bring the trap out. I don't wanna bring the trap all the way out here if we're not gonna have any um, pigs on camera. So it's one of them things like, all right, we just got a picture. Tomorrow, let's go put it out. So that's what we're gonna do right now is try to get this to work. Um, so the company sent us a 30 foot pole because there's no cell service down there. And um, he was pretty confident once we get it up on that. Oh, hey. Grab the wires out of the back of the car or truck. Um, he's pretty confident once we get to the top, we'll have cell service out there um, because this and he said this antenna is like more powerful than a um, your cell phone. So he's pretty confident. So I believe him. That's what he does. He does it for a living, and uh, I think he's going to be right. And we're going to set it up and see if we get service down there. But I need to grab a bag of corn to bait. Oh, you gotta unlock it, Hope Hadley. So this is becoming a good little storage for our feed bags. Over here. You have the tape too. Good thinking. So this pole. Is a flagpole and it, it calls for concrete in the ground like two foot. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a try to drive a couple T posts down there and then take this pole to the T post that way because um, we want to be able to move it if we need to. We don't want it down there in a two foot concrete pillar. But let's go down to the creek and see what we can do. You guys ready? Yeah. You can gonna drive? swim any? Can I drive? Oh. You can drive on the way back. You guys yeah. gonna swim any? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Hold on, watch out for rattlesnakes. This is where they see one of the rattlesnakes at. They did? Off the trail over here. So, we've got a booby trap in the road. Um, just broke. And I might have to go grab the little chainsaw because this is actually pretty good size. Yeah, I'm going to have to go grab the chainsaw. You want to run up there and grab it, Hallie? You want me to drive up there? Is it big? No, it's a little one. Back of the truck. You want me to just drive you up there? She's in, We're not very far from it. Stay on the road. And go up there. Yeah, this is one of the spots. They've seen a rattlesnake off into the side of the road over there. Um, let's take a look. That's why I told Hallie to stay in the middle of the road. Yeah, so Hallie ran up there to get the little chainsaw for us. We should keep that on hand. Huh? Oh, just let it roll and it hit that and stop. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't go in the weeds, right around snakes. Heck, we could probably drive over that. We decided just come pick you up, Had. We just saw a real chipmunk. Yeah, there was a little baby chipmunk yeah, on there. Yeah, it was actually a chipmunk. About jumped on you. Yeah. Thank you, Hadley. Hadley, chipmunk almost jumped on me. Just sit in the me. back. 
You sit in the back. I didn't like almost jumped on my face. I think we got like two bars, so I hope we got enough to cut it off. If not, we'll just man it up and we'll just pull it out of there, hope. Good firewood right there. Yeah. It's good dead seasoned wood. That'd be awesome for the fireplace. It smells good actually. Yeah, it's oak. Here you go. This. Did it get in your eyes? Uh uh. I closed them. There. Alright, let's go. Where's the deer? Where's the deer? Oh, there's deer! They probably want some of this corn. Wait, you probably can't see on the camera though. Uh, That's real weird. Look at that tree. Like, we won't mess with that right now. I don't got any tick spray on us. Hold on, girls. I'm gonna ch we'll check the camera. If there's anything interesting on the camera, I'll show you guys that. Um, but I do have some, y'all wanna stay in here for a minute? Cause yeah. there's like ticks yeah. and stuff. I'll, when I need your help, we'll get you, okay? Okay. So we got a coyote trap out here and you guys won't believe, well, you might believe it. <laughs> we caught a big male, mean raccoon in this trap uh, about a week ago. I, if I could find the footage, I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you that right now. Okay, so um, I caught what looked to be like a big rat, not really a squirrel, but something had attacked it inside of the cage and got killed it. I'm not gonna show you guys that because it, it doesn't look, it look, does not look the best. Um, but yeah, that is weird. If it was still alive or whole, I would show it to you guys. But yeah, um, it's like a big muskrat or something. Now we got this guy who is being super mean. So, I don't know how normal this is, if they're always this aggressive. <coughs> this one is mean. So if you've seen the footage, it means I found it. I went ahead and closed this trap up during the um, camping trip because um, we weren't trying to catch any live animals then. But you, but you can see um, that's the trap that we caught the big one in, big raccoon. And I caught like a little muskrat or something in the other trap. And I was gonna make a video of you, for you guys. Um, we were gonna relocate some squirrels at her, at Brandy's uncle's house, but we haven't caught any over there yet. So that video got scratched. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the footage of, um, I just went ahead and show you the footage I had for that video. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna set the pole up right in here. You can see there's no trees right here. We'll get it up as high as we can in the middle and hopefully that'll give us enough um, service where this will work. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, hold on, card out. So there's actually no card in this one. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there. I guess when I checked it last time, I didn't put another one in there. Give me that tape. Can I tell myself? Where's that fault? Hold it right here. Got it? Both ones. Got it? Kind of hard for me to do it. I'll help you in just a second. It's the antenna uh, to give us service, hopefully. Well, no, it's only for this. Uh, go ahead. Oh, right there. Can you push up on it right there? Mm -hmm. Push. All right, pull that way. Huh? Pull this that way. Up here where my hand's at, I'll like pull it towards you. I see it. Look how high this is. Whoa. And we'll get up down here. This is people going all over the way. Okay, now I'm gonna hook the battery and stuff up to it. This goes out here. Here's the yellow. That's cool. I thought it was the opposite. Where's the green at? Right here. So the green one, let's see if there's power. We got power. Did your sunburn Am I? on your neck? There's the green. Um, which we didn't bring yet. We just got it set up right now with that up there to see if we're going to get any um, signal. Might take a minute. And I don't have service with my phone down here, so I can't even check my phone yet until we get out of here. So we're going to set everything up, bait everything, assuming that it's going to work. And then once we get to the service, we'll be able to check it. I hear something walking in the woods. Probably a deer that we saw. Or a hog. 
Yeah, there's probably deer hog. Hopefully it's not a hog. <laughs> hopefully it's just a deer. Well, we're wanting to catch hogs, so. Yeah, but hopefully it doesn't like ram us. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That would be hurtful. Okay. Now we'll hook up the solar panel. See, I hear twigs, I hear twigs snapping. Is that a baseball bat? Right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sold that and sold that. You can hit it. If a hole comes, I can hit it in the head with a baseball bat. Being right. Oh. Or oh, just popped. I think it's a water bottle. Let's see. So, it's showing strength, but it's not showing carrier yet. Okay, so it's showing strength, so that's a good thing. Uh, then the carrier will pop up. I'm very new to this. It's, so this is the Hog Eye camera system, and it's showing strength uh, and power and no carrier yet. But that might be something for whenever we get out of here, we'll check. Um, I think it's going to work because we do have strength. Look at that. That pole is leaning. But we got this sucker in here good. I got it taped up good. That's flashing tape for the house. I mean, unless we get another 100 mile an hour wind, I think we're going to be okay. If a hog comes, I'm going to hit it with a baseball bat. You're going to hit it with a baseball bat? Yeah, That'd be I'm crazy. It, Protect so yourself at all costs. I'm going to make it hit that and <laughs> that will fall on him. Yeah, uh-huh. You're all talk. Or if, we, if it, there's a logo, we can climb on top of the ring. And if it's a hog, it's not going to go on top of the ring. Or we can throw the baseball bat. I'll keep it in your hand. Because if you throw it, then you can get it. The white stuff. That's not, that's not good for a sec, but then it stunk. That's one, that is one angry hog. So Daniel, yeah. So Daniel gave me this. He said this really works. It's root and juice. I can already smell it. Does it smell good? No. I smell the corn. It smells like molasses. Ew, it looks bloody. What? And I was going to pour some on the corn. Do we need to mix it? No, it'll mix itself. I don't want to use it all right away, so there's some. That's disgusting. It looks like blood. <laughs> Get close up on it. It just looks like it's falling. Yeah. I'm gonna put some on top of it. Cause that's disgusting. Ugh. The the corn is turning red. It's it's, it's blood. Like it looks like blood. Right, it's it. actually not. It's blood. like black blood. Okay, we got it all set up, and um, an ant hole. we got strength and and um, power, so we're good there. And we'll check it here in a little bit once we get up top and got service and see if it's working. Do what? There's an ant hole. I think. There's a, or a rattlesnake or snake. hole. What's it say? Just strength? Is the strength lit up? Yeah. Okay. There's a tick going on and I killed it. Good job. So we're good to go. We got the bait set up over it. And uh, yeah, you guys can go swimming? Yeah, something scratched it. That's probably me. Oh, no, I think it's tape. Yeah, this is probably the first time. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. This might be the common way people do these poles out in the middle of nowhere. If you're not going to concrete them out, I got them staked in. Yeah, <laughs> flashing tape all around it. It's sturdy. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I think I think we're good to go. So big shout out to Hog Eye Cameras um, for sending us this poll and um, hooking us up with the subscription bill to watch this. Is like I said, this is all Daniel stuff that um, that he let us borrow, but Hog Eye is the one that um, company it is. So big shout out to them, man. Thanks to Daniel. I might be able to drive through here. Oh, I don't know about that, girls. No. Huh? No. You don't think so? No. Yeah. Might get high centered, huh? Yeah, you guys can film right here. Meet me down there. I'll make it back up and meet you over there. <laughs> 
Okay, sorry, the camera just turned off, but we are gonna look for some. Oh, I see a crawdad. Let me get it, let me get it, okay? Oh. Film. No, let me get it. Oh, film. You have to be careful. Yeah, we're crawdad, crawdad. Are you scared of this? Yep, I think he's scared. Oh, hold on. Where'd he go? go? He went all the way under there. Uh -huh. I'll go get it, I'll go get it. No, you're gonna get it by the No, not. There's no space under here. Yeah, there is. Are you sure? Yeah. What? I just picked up a rock and a ledge got on me almost. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Here, here. Right here. Hold on. Let me get it on this rock. Bring it back. I'm trying to get it on here. It's right there. How's it now? It's right there. That thing. It's right there. Water. I can't believe I almost got a leech on me. It was literally on my finger. I flung it off. Yeah, it's slippery. Dad, the rope broke off of from it. I know, but bring it so it doesn't get washed away. There. There's nothing in it. But we just need to bring it up so it doesn't get washed away. Because we heard it thundering already. Okay, so they're gonna swim for a little bit and then we're gonna head to the house and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on um oh you're gonna skip real quick? Yeah. Hold on. That's not how you do it the other way. I just do it. I know, but do it like Cavalry does it. I can't do that. Yeah, it takes practice. I'm off handed. Yeah, then you go that way. You gotta practice. Looks like there's a little bit of a storm rolling through here right now. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but sure. you do? Yeah. Um, we'll check and see if the Hawkeye camera is working with the new 30 foot pole we got up.